Lady Bonnie's visited Temple tonight, looking to go 2-0 and in the early conference season. Here in the first possession of the game, Horton finds Doris Ortega in the post, who then dishes to Elena Walker for an easy two. On the next trip down the floor, it's Ortega driving and finding Jenkins for three, for only three of the day. And then here, it's Armelia Horton breaking down her defender, pulling up in the lane and getting her only two of the half. Van Tatenhove got very hot for a stretch in the first half. Here she is driving past McCauley for the two, and then again going left for two more. Here's Van Tatenhove going left one more time, pulling up in the lane, getting the easy two to go. And then it's Van Tatenhove getting the assist to Doris Ortega, who drives, gets an easy layup, managed to take a 40 to 31 lead into the break. Here's Elena Walker making an acrobatic move to get the layup to go, and then Horton drives inside, kicks out to Van Tatenhove for the jumper. Here's Doris Ortega and Chelsea Boker working the two-man game. Ortega finds Boker outside. Boker holds it high and takes a look at the bench for some emphasis. And then here Horton finds Dixon using the glass to get three of her 12. And then here it's Ortega capping this one off with a splendid move inside, spinning that one off the glass. The Bonnies will take a 74-65 victory. Never wanted to talk to me after a game down here. Um, we haven't had a lot of success. Um, but I, I was, this is a really good basketball team that we played today. Um, I was really pleased. We were fortunate to make some shots in the first half and, and get a lead. And uh, our kids did a really good job of, of taking care of the ball and uh, holding on to that lead and, and finishing the game off. Yeah, Coach, could you talk about that? I mean, <clears throat> whenever Temple made a run, you guys always kept back in and it sorted your whole season. So what do you think that is? Uh, I mean, we got a lot of kids who've won a lot of games. And, and we're fortunate enough to have a lot of kids that can play off the bounce and, and make plays for themselves. Uh, so if you take one thing away, they have an opportunity to, to do that. What we've done for it, fortunately, we've made some shots when we've needed to. And, and today, we, we settled for jumpers a little bit too much, and, and they got some great runouts off of that. Um, but when we needed to, we attacked the, the paint and either got some uh, scores in there or got to the foul. When Meg's in the lineup, it's it seems like a whole different team. So talk about how important it is to have her back. Well, obviously, I mean, she's very good. Um, the, the biggest thing it does, though, is it, it makes you have to guard the, fo the paint. Um, you know, it gives us a low post threat, uh, which teams do a great job extending out and taking away um, the perimeter, as Temple always does against Jess Jenkins. They did it again today. Um, but it's tougher to do that when, you know, we have a low post threat uh, like Meg and, and what's happened through our injury. Some other kids are getting there. Doris getting better there. Chelsea's getting better there. Um, which is obviously going to help us as the season goes on. But, um, you know, you have, we have a kid in Meg who can make shots off the bounce. She can make shots in the low post. She can make jump shots. Uh, that becomes really hard to guard. Meg, um, just talk about today. I mean, what was going right for you? Um, just being able to attack the ball going forward and take care, taking good care of the ball. And, you know, you're a senior, but <clears throat> how fun is it right now for you guys, uh, for you especially? Your team's clicking on all cylinders. Have you ever felt like this before? Uh, well, it's a good feeling, um, but we just like to focus on one game at a time. That's easier said than done, right? Yes. <laughs> Any other questions? Looking yes. okay, what else is going on around the league tonight. Well, in some ways, this may have been a watershed moment. Their margin of error, there's always the safety valves, the shrieking, shrinking, shrinking, and might be doing that. <laughs> Yours is growing with every win here. But I mean, that's what I said to the team. I mean, can't take these away. Um, you know, we've been fortunate to have some success so far, and we obviously want to continue that, but we can't, you can't take away, um, you know, that the, we've won at this place, that we've won at West Virginia, St. John's, you know. So um, they have done a great job, and it continues to be our, our, plan to just focus on the game ahead, you know, and uh, we're going to get people's best shots. That's what conference play is all about. And, um, you know, I don't even know what happened in the league today. I just know I'm uh, happy with how we play. Coach, um, what are you guys um, stating the game, but what are some negatives that you thought that the team could work on? Uh, our transition defense uh, broke down at times. Um, you know, we, we allowed them to get all the way to the rim at different times, especially off our missed threes. Um, you know, I thought we let them get uh, some easy post position at times and, and weren't as active as we needed to be. Now, that's going to happen because they're, uh, they have talented perimeter players as well as, as good inside kids. Um, but overall, I thought our defensive effort was, was pretty solid. And, um, you know, I, I, the big thing I would say I'm most pleased with is the fact we took care of the ball. You know, nine turnovers against this team. Um, that was the difference in the game to me because they weren't getting extra possessions through that and getting some runouts and putting pressure on us because they're so good there. 
Wait, anything else? All right, thank you.